In this example, I'll need to combine two radicals that are being divided into a single radical and simplify where possible. What I'll also need to do is state restrictions. So I'm going to start by stating my restrictions. If I look at the type of problem I'm dealing with here, I've got a square root on the top and a square root on the bottom. That means I have an index of 2, which means whatever's underneath here, which we call the radicand, has to be positive or I can't evaluate the expression. So first of all, I know that I need to use positive numbers for x. The second thing I know here is that because I'm dividing by a variable, x can't be 0. Because if x was 0, this expression would evaluate to 0. So what I know, from my restriction, I would state that x has to be greater than 0. So next, because I have the same index on both roots, I want to use this property. If I have the square root of a divided by the square root of b, then I can rewrite that as the square root of a divided by b. So I can write it as a single radical. So I'm going to take this expression and go from having one root sign, or two root signs, to one root sign, and say 10x to the 9 divided by 5x cubed. So what you'll see we have here now is two separate division problems. I've got a whole number part and I've got an exp and I've got a variable part. So I'd like to break it apart into those two statements. So I get 10 divided by 5 and I've got x to the 9 divided by x to the 3. If I divide 10 by 5, I get an answer of 2. And if I divide x to the 9 by x to the 3, I can think of that as having 9x's up top and 3x's on the bottom. So when we're dividing, we can cancel things that are alike on the top and the bottom. So I have an x cancel with an x there, another one, another one, and another one, and another one. Which would leave me with an answer of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, x to the 6. Now if I wish to further simplify this, I can see if I can simplify anything with the x to the 6 part. So x to the 6 we can see has 1, 2, 3 equal groups of 2 for multiplication. So if I'm taking the square root then, that would mean that I can take out 3 equal groups of 2 to get x cubed times the square root of 2 stating my restriction at the end of x greater than 0. And this expression would be fully simplified.